Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. Today we are going to cover chapter 5 which is imperative programming. The learning outcome for this chapter is number 1 to understand the background of imperative programming language. Secondly, to know the key features of imperative programming language. And thirdly, the case study using C programming language. Introduction The basic architecture of computers has had a profound effect on language design. Most of the popular languages of the past 60 years have been designed around the prevalent computer architecture called the von Neumann architecture, which was invented by John von Neumann. These languages are called imperative languages. In a von Neumann computer, both data and programs are stored in the same memory. The central processing unit, CPU, which executes instructions, is separate from the memory. Therefore, instructions and data must be transmitted from memory to the CPU. The results of the operations in the CPU must be moved back to memory. Nearly all digital computers built since the 1940s have been based on the von Neumann architecture. Modern imperative languages generally include features such as expressions and assignment, control structures, loops and decisions, input-output commands, procedures and functions, error and exception handling, and library support for data structures. Next is the case study using C programming language. History of C language. C is a general purpose high level language that was originally developed by Dennis Ritchie for the Unix operating system. It was first implemented on the Digital Equipment Corporation PDP 11 computer in 1972. It was rooted in the development of Maltics and advanced OS being developed at Bell Labs. When Bell Labs pulled out of the project, Thompson and Ritchie proposed development of a simpler, hence Unix operating system, which would be platform independent. The initial development efforts was informal, and the platforms were using mini computers such as PDP-11. Introduction to C programming language, the Unix operating system and virtually all Unix applications are written in the C language. C has now become a widely used professional language for various reasons. It is easy to learn, it is structured language, it produces efficient programs, it can handle low, activi low level activities, it can be compiled on a variety of computers. C versus C++ the paradigm for C is procedural or imperative, whereby C++ is multi-paradigm. The platform for C is almost anything. C++ can be any, but libraries used can make it limited. C was developed by Dennis Ritchie and Bell Labs, whereby C++ was developed by Bajan Strostrop. And C cannot use string type, but declare it as an array of characters. C++ can use std string or design a string by user. C does not have the OOP features, but C++ have, C++ have the OOP features, including polymorphism, inheritance, and classes. Facts about C. C was invented to write an operating system called Unix. C is a successor of B language, which was introduced around 1970, and the language was formalized in 1988 by the American National Standard Institute, ANSI. By 1973, Unix OS almost totally written in C, and today C is the most widely used uh, system programming language. Most of the state-of-the-art software have been implemented using C. Feature of C Many C features were adapted directly from hardware instructions. 
examples plus plus and minus minus although c plus plus and java have replaced c in many areas it is still important as a language for writing operating systems systems with memory or power limitations and systems that value small code and efficiency over other factors the basic structure of c programming contains documentation section link section definition section global declaration section main function section and sub program section the documentation section normally contains commands of the program link section provides instructions to the compiler to link functions from the system library such as using the include directive the definition section defines all symbolic constants such using the define directive global declaration section to declare global variables to define the global variables whereby global variables can be accessed at any place in the program the main function section every c program must have one main function section this section contain two parts declaration part and executable part the declaration part declares all the variables used in the executable part and the executable part contains at least one statement to be executed the sub program section contains the user defined functions that are called in the main program or the main function normally the user defined functions are placed below or immediately after the main function these are the c keywords next c identifiers identifiers are used as the general terminology for the names of variables functions and arrays rules for naming c identifiers they must begin with a letter or underscore they must consist of only letters digits or underscore no other special character is allowed it should not be a keyword is it must not contain white space it should be up to 31 characters long as only first the first 31 characters are significant variables a variable is a name given to a storage area that our programs can manipulate can be of type char integer float double and void next this is the structure of how to define a variable in c examples variables i j k of type integer variable c ch of type char variables f salary of type float and variable d of type double placeholders these are the placeholders for decimal integer decimal long integer string or character array float number and double or float a long float this is an example of a full program in c the program is to add uh, add sum eh? sum and seven whereby the initial value of sum is 11 and to display the result is using the printf command and the output here is 18. operators and expressions operators in c language include arithmetic operators assignment operators relational operators logical operators increment decrement operators and special operators this is an example of program using arithmetic operators to find the addition subtraction multiplication division and modulus of two numbers next example of a program 
using assignment operators to find the total of number 1 until number 9. Next, example of a program using relational operators to compare whether the value of m is equal to n. Next, example of a program using logical operators Logical and and logical or and not. Next, example of program using pre-increment operators whereby the operator is placed before the variable. So here, the program is to display number 1 until number 4. Next, the post-increment operator whereby the operator is placed after the variable i and the output is to display number 1 until number 5. Next is special operators. The end operator is used to get the address of the variable and the asterisk operator or star symbol. This is a pointer to the variable size of this gives the size of the variable these are the this is the program uh, using n and asterisk operators and see uh, this is under pointer topic which will will be covered later next example of using size of operator to find the size of the variable. Next, control structures using selection and iteration. Selection is using if, if else, or switch and case. Iteration can be done using for loop, while loop, and do while loop. This is the example of using if else selection structure to check if n is greater than zero print positive number, else print negative number. Next, using switch case to check the value of roll. Now, the value of roll is 3. So, switch roll, then go for the option case 3. So, the output is I am John. Next, example of Y loop. To print number 1 until number 5, the initial value of i is 1, while i is less than or equal to 5, print fi, then i++, plus plus, plus plus i. Next, example of using do while loop, program to add numbers until the user enters 0. Next, Example of using for loop to print numbers from 1 to 10 and their squares. Next is the exercise. Oh, thank you. Thank you everyone.